Antoinette, Doug, there have been, and that's really what led up to all of this. That's the reason for this 48 hour pause because federal officials had actually threatened to shut down work if safety conditions were not improved. Take a look at this video showing workers scrambling to get out of the way of an oncoming train back in March. This is just one of multiple incidents at the center of federal investigations. The Federal Transit Administration gave the MBTA until Wednesday to file a detailed explanation of the reasons the near misses the close calls were not properly reported. Governor Maura Healy calls the ongoing safety issues unacceptable. We've made uh, a lot of decisions and a lot of investment, including not just in personnel, but in money to do what we need to do to ensure that our tracks are safe and reliable. And um, nobody is more frustrated than me whenever I hear of an instance like that. In a written statement, MBTA General Manager Phil Ng says he's committed to worker safety. He says the agency is rebuilding and reorganizing its workforce to make sure it can implement the required changes. An MBTA spokesperson says that the 48 hour pause on all contract work is to focus on the first phase of work, which will establish more rigorous levels for protection for workers. But the T has not released specifics as to what those changes are. Reporting live this morning at JFK UMass Station, Todd Keskiewicz, WCVB News Center 5.